In the last video, we maintained a state object to track two different counters. To update the second counter, we also had to create additional switch cases in the reducer function. Now this is fine, but if we need two counters with the exact same state transitions, there is a much simpler alternative. And that is to use multiple use reducer hooks. Let's take a look at an example. I'm going to create a new file called counter3.js. Next, to save us some time, I'm going to copy paste the code from counter1.js. I will replace the component name counter1 with counter3. In app.js, I will include only counter3. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, we should now have a counter working as expected. Now, the requirement for us is to add another counter. The second counter will also have the same state transitions, increment, decrement, or reset. If this is the scenario, we can easily create additional counters by simply specifying multiple use reducers. So right after the first use reducer, we can call another use reducer. const count2, comma, dispatch2 is equal to use reducer. And since the behavior is the same, the arguments also remain the same. Reducer and initial state. Now in the JSX, I can duplicate the code. This time though, the state variable is count2 and the dispatch method is dispatch2. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, we should have two counters, both working independently even though they're using the same piece of code. So, when dealing with multiple state variables that have the same state transitions, it is a good idea to have multiple use reducers making use of the same reducer function. This will avoid the complexity of merging the state if it were to be an object and also prevents us from duplicating code in the reducer function, like we have already seen in counter2. All right, that is example number three, multiple use reducers. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.